Hi everyone, today video is about how to custom a handle locks for door. Before starting this tutorial, my channel is about 3D designs, building and tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Okay, let's start. This is how it looks like on 3D and I'm gonna work for this one which I have done this design on project 7. You can have a look over there. So the first step which is gonna be designing uh, draw a line we're gonna go to the document over here we have a line tool we click on it and then we can click on this one a uh, chant and then we draw over here around um, 1000 uh, 50, uh, six, 1160 and then just go over here around 120 and then again we're gonna close this one and then we will draw another one again small which is gonna be click on the rectangle and then we're gonna go over here which is 120 with uh, click uh, with your keyboard down to write the dimension which is gonna be 100 and then click OK so we'll remove this one out so what I have told you now we have the first step is drawing and then the second step we're gonna do is uh, design which is a slab over here click on the slab tool and then you just work with this one and then here the thickness of this one will be around 50 so we click at the top this top one and then we change over here 50 and the surface we click over all of them and we click the black one you can change the color if you don't like the black and just check other things if we need to change which is the line pin I'm gonna click on the block which is uh, help us to more visible click on it and then click on your keyboard space and then click for this one the small one space but select it and make it down okay we just move it over here over here around uh, same we put in the same dimension and then Control plus shift plus D make another one copy let me click on the the lower part and then let's see it on 3d this is the previous one so this is how it's look like so I'm I finished the handle I'm gonna work with the locker one which is gonna be over here we're gonna go with the same steps select the line and select the rectangle one so this is my design so i'm going to design over here when you design over here it will be mirror and it will be inserted over here on the 3d so we're going to design over here which is going to be around 100 the lower it will be the vertical 160 and select ok and just move it a little bit the line down a little bit up okay that's it and make it closer like this so after that we're gonna go to the slab no sorry before going to the slab we're gonna design a circle at the center uh, over here I will do with 25 35 okay and then do the circle and that's it so we're gonna go now with the slab select the slab and then the dimension will be similar but I'm gonna show you how it's we're gonna work with that we click on the lower part and select the slab and then we we'll remove this one out because we're gonna do another one up part so select again slab and then draw over here and then select the slab on the edge part of the point and click on the subtract and from the keyboard uh, space so then now we we're gonna work with the color here the different it will be is not similar which is at the top uh will be gray color the rest is gonna be black and then we'll move this one and this one will be at the top and then we'll move this one to this part okay and let's see it on 3d look how it's look like now i'm gonna work with the thickness which is this one so we're gonna make it with the same level that's why so i'm gonna go with here around like um Maybe I'm gonna go with 30 and then here minus 20, okay, which is gonna be same level, okay, then that's good. And then this one, I'm gonna decrease it 
uh, I will go with similar which is maybe 20 and then I'll move here minus 20 sorry minus 20 if you see it is a little bit bigger you're gonna decrease this one again which uh, we're gonna be here around 20 and this one will be around 30 and then we'll move this one also again to 30 and this is how it looks like so I'm gonna work with this one at the top which will be the color I made it this one at the top so I have to work with this one okay I'll make this one gray and at the top I'll make it black Not this one, so I'm gonna work with this one. I'll make it at the top. Here at the top, I'll make it gray, which is gonna show us like a pink color. This is how it's look like. And we have finished with the two steps, which was the first drawing a line and a circle. And then we have did uh, the second, which is a slab. Now the third will be is uh, saving it as a handle so i'm gonna select it over all like this okay and then we're gonna go to the file libraries and object and save it as a handle over here we have a handle and then we have already before i saved the handle one now i'm gonna save it as a handle two i'll just click save and then okay after that we're gonna go to the a door which is over here we have a door tool select on the door tool door tool and then we have here the previous one i was working on it so we select the normal this one and then we're gonna go to the dimension changing it around here we will have um 160 1600 and here we have 2500 okay and the rest is we're gonna work over here the hang it roll uh, door setting we just here we have a great leaf like the leaf you can change it the way you want it but i'm gonna take the modern one which is style one which is there's no any other works and here the handle we're gonna go with custom and then after that we're gonna go to the opening if you want to make it open or no and then here opening lines we just click on this one remove the open line and click this one black after that i'm gonna go to the model and then work with the color uh, at the digit parts which is the frame i'm gonna go with this one and then the inside i'm gonna go with the wood okay and these two lines i will make it black and the other part which is this one this one the model attribute i will go with the black and it's almost finished and then here we have uh, the handle which is the handle and uh, kickboard so the first one was a handle one i'm gonna go with the handle two and then click ok and just put it over here and make it open and let's see how it's look like so it is a little bit up what i'm gonna do is click on this one and again go to the handle we here here we have a dimension we just want it to move a little bit down so we're gonna go with 800 and then click ok and you found it if it is more closer or no you can work on it if it is, if you found this for distance it's more like we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and just select this one and move it a little bit closer like this and then we what we're gonna do is select this one over all click ok and then again I go libraries and object save it as a handle which is the handle tool and it's gonna be replaced and select ok and what we're gonna see it is already here fix it this is how it's look like in a simple way in steps you can do another shape if you like that but if you have any questions you can comment below and please don't forget to subscribe like and share 
and thank you for watching.